Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. We are uh, in Austin, Texas, at yep. John Deere's uh, test farm. And you guys have maybe seen the last video that was just dropped of the Hagee and the Combine. If you haven't, go check that out. But we have what I would consider to be maybe one of the biggest deer drops, you want it's to big. say? It's big. Biggest deer drops since when they released their 9RX 4-track, I would say. Which, as you can see, is nothing like uh, their previous 9RX line. Same gist of it, it's got four tracks, it's just totally different. It's got a totally... few more po ponies to uh, turn the tracks, yes. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to show you guys this because we've been watching it all day long. Uh, it was pulling a big air seeder cart, yeah, that's... which I guess is, I don't know anything about them. So I know a lot about tractors, so we're going to show you at the tractor. Should somebody tell them to close their hydraulic caps? We probably should do that for them. You're welcome, guys. I'd hate to ruin it. All right, so we are here with Brian and Michael. They know the ins and outs of this new beast. So where, where do we want to start? Because I'm sure that this is obviously totally different, so there yeah. is nothing to compare to, Yep. right? Yep. yep, for sure. So we can start up front. Hard to miss, right, this huge grill up here, yep. hiding that JD18 liter engine behind it. Like you have said before, 830 horsepower. That's our top model. We also have a 710 and a 770 below that too. To help put that power to the ground, you can ballast this up to 84,000 pounds. To help with that, you have a chin strap weight up front there. So that's that's right. That's right here. Yep. So it's got forklift cutouts in there, so you can easily take that on and off if you ever need to. In yeah. addition to that, we'll have weights that go on each undercarriage that you can add on and then the mini mono block weights on the rear of the tractor. And I seen that they were on. Yep, yep, they are. So, yeah, um, and so what puts that power to the ground, right? You got these new undercarriages. These have been designed uh, specifically for this tractor. So uh, when we look at this 830, it's not just a stretch of our current 640. This is a ground up design. Okay. New undercarriages, new frame, new Bigger engine. drive wheel. Bigger drive wheel, <laughs> new transmission, new cab, new hydraulics. I mean, everything was built around putting this 830 horsepower to work for, for customers. Uh, so yeah, so some of the changes here, you can see we got a bigger drive wheel. Uh, we have additional drive lugs that are engaged. There's more wrap around that uh, drive wheel as well. There's an additional mid roller that we added. Uh, that's because of the 80, 84,000 pounds. So you're able to distribute that weight better on, on these tracks. Um, so yeah, overall it's been completely redesigned for this tractor. Sweet. Yeah. So like moving your way back, you know, one of the things that we wanted to focus on is the serviceability side of the machine. So making it really easy to service the machine, do your daily checks. So we got the uh, air filter right here. So grab it from ground level, blow it off. Uh, same with filling your fuel. Uh, again, the nice thing here, we're only filling fuel. We don't have uh, depth on this machine, so you can fill it from the ground. Uh, we also have an optional fast fill system. So if you're familiar with that, uh, X9 combines have that as an option as well. You can fill this 515 gallon tank in just about four minutes. So okay. fills it in a, in a big hurry. The other nice thing about this fuel tank, uh, Again, we've got quick uh, gauges here or sight gauges built into the ladder so you can see the fuel uh, as you're getting in and out of the machine. Um, and then speaking of getting in and out of the machine, mm -hmm. so again, a little bit flatter, more of a staircase than, than, a, than a ladder style, uh, which, makes it, which makes it really nice. And then getting up into the cab, you know, that's our new Command View 4 Plus cab. So that's new for this machine. Uh, a lot more visibility on the right hand side. You'll see when you get in there, uh, we open that up. Um, and then this has got the Gen 5 Plus display in it, um, as well as a SF7500 receiver on top with available SFRTK. Um, and this machine is uh, autonomy ready. So it's got some extra uh, controllers and harnesses to um, be able to do autonomy in the future. So really all we're missing is, you know, that vision system whenever um, we come to market with it. Um, so it's ready for kind of those future enhancements as well. So you're telling me a tractor like this that everyone wants to run, you're going to make it autonomous? <laughs> you don't have to make it autonomous. You can keep running it. We, we, don't, we don't judge. <laughs> Yep. Um, and Let's then, talk about the, the hydraulic because I yep. find that very interesting. So these are your hydraulic pumps from here forward, you were saying, is just for steering and braking. And yep. Transmission. Braking and transmission. Yep. So basically tractor functions from here forward and then 
from here back would be your pump stacks for your implements. So, and this machine it's equipped with the, the triple stack or the top, so 168 gallon per minute. Each of these pumps is 56, so there's one right here, a second one there, and then the third one is on the other side. So nice thing there is you're getting you know extremely high hydraulic flow back to those big air seeder trains or uh, scrapers or big tillage pieces. So um, when it's when it's advertised 168, that's to the that's implement. To the implement, that's yep. not. Yeah, you're gonna get robbed from. Yeah, yep. no. Something else. You got another sight gauge up top there for your hydraulic oil level, so mm -hmm. you can see that. And there's sight gauges on each side for your differential transmission. Um, this is the 88 inch space machine, but we also have a 120 inch spaced option straight from the factory. So really opens things up in there. 36 inch tracks. These are 30. These are 30, but we have 36 available on the 120 inch. Just spacing. the 120. Okay. Yep. 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 Well, then, I noticed that like a lot of. From the other 9RXs, obviously, like there's no fuel tanks up there. That's right. Exactly. Just, uh, and that's with with no def, right? We're able to push all the fuel tank underneath the cab. Did you hear what he just said? <laughs> <laughs> no def. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So we push that underneath the cab, and then that opens it up. You have a great line of sight from the cab too, straight down to the the draw bar. So when you get inside, you can see that. Okay. So rear of the tractor is available with a PTO. That's correct. It's this, back there. It's it high. is. It does yep. have one. I verified. I grabbed the shaft and it's there. <laughs> yep. So we got that. Uh, six SCVs from the factory. You can add a seventh and eighth if you need that. Okay. It's a field installed kit. And obviously a lot of other ports since for yep. air seeders. Yeah. Um, power beyond. Okay. Uh, so. Visibility of the cab like you were talking about without the fuel tank and stuff. You can see, you know, right down to the hitch. We also have an optional, or uh, we have a camera right here that can help you line up if, if you still struggle to maybe down to the hitch and here's the the weight packages that you were that's you, right the this is a blocks. this would be an option if you wanted to weight her up mm -hmm. yep yep so it comes in sets of two so you can get either again two or four and then again plus the chin strap and the side weights to get you a total of eighty four thousand pounds fully ballasted what's it come out if you were just ordering seventy four thousand without any of the other weights okay yep you play music through this, right? <laughs> so, that's a, a type point. of music, yeah. yeah. So that's part of the autonomy ready package. So that's a backup alarm. So again, um, in the future, if this thing was gonna be running autonomous, one of the things, again, is safety. So this will go off when it's backing up and, and moving around, so. Oh, sweet. So far, I have no complaints. <laughs> Good. <laughs> this area really shows off that new cab, the Command View 4 Plus. Oh, yes. You can see just how wide open it is. Uh, how much class you got there on the side to see out of uh, and when you get up there and, and you're driving it you'll you'll be impressed too I think batteries moved over here so you got five batteries underneath this lid uh, you got your hookups there if you ever need to charge those battery disconnects on this side as well yeah. Up here on the top, you got the catwalk. So um, I've been, it's just about 360 degrees around. The only spot is again, kind of right there between the hood. But you got the grab rail, so you can walk all the way around. If you got to, you know, clean off the windows or just, you know, or just get around the side of the machine. Mm -hmm. Once again, I like the uh, ability to get at filters and yeah, it's clean. There's the first test. How am I going to get mud out of here? <laughs> <laughs> yep, and then there's that other hydraulic pump we talked about for if this again, if you have the, the full 168 gallon uh, machine, it'd be right here. It comes 168, 112, or 56. So as far as no def, obviously that's something that's generally unheard of nowadays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how, how, how did you do it? <laughs> yeah. So. Um, the machine has what we call exhaust gas recirculation or, or EGR. So uh, at this horsepower level, we're able to meet the emission standards. So final tier four and even uh, what they call uh, stage five um, by using just the exact exhaust gas recirculation system on this machine. Um, again, it's a, it's a highly efficient machine. And again, as the horsepower levels change, there's different requirements, but we're able to meet that 700 and above level with just exhaust gas recirculation. Okay. So no, no filter, that's just a, that's, exactly. that's an actual muffler. An actual muffler. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see it when we run. <laughs> Sweet. No, that's, that's something you haven't heard from any new tractor is what an engine's supposed to sound like. So with that being said, guys, obviously standing and talking about a tractor is one thing, which I was very interested in all that. We're gonna go uh, hook it up to a speed disc and actually get to drive it out here if they're in their test field.
Well, are you ready for this? I, yeah. I've, I've done one round compared to our 9RX. Other than the Gen 5s, uh, everything looks to be the same. So, nothing too complicated about this. Uh, obviously, a different corner post display. The Gen 5, uh, the new extended monitor. Uh, everything is the same. It's still, what did they say it was, an E21? Well, that's what I was going to say. E21 it looks like the same shifting pattern. He did say it was in manual. So, should yes. you go poke so, a bunch of buttons and get in an auto and <laughs> see what happens? They said it's not equipped with that yet because this is a what prototype or testing model. So, it may not be up to date with all the fancy stuff, but we can uh, play with it. Everyone clear? Okay. So we are pulling. They're gone. Uh, I don't know the exact number on it. What is it? A 2660. Oh, the uh, implement. Yeah, it's something. There's some numbers on the hitch there. I can't see them. I was so memor. Anyways, it's 40, 40 feet wide, and I've been doing. This is my second round. We were going 15 before in the last That's pass. That's too fast. Don't we set up to 15. 14. That's just ridiculous. Okay, so we are six inches deep and we are going 12 right now. Now we're going 14. You wanna go faster? Now we are going 15 and there is our engine load. We're, we're not to full, full power, but we're giving her a pretty good load. 800 horse? 800? Look, look, at the, horse? look at the gallons per hour. Holy new record! <laughs> I've seen 35 before, but now we got 43, 43 gallons an hour. Ah. Now, once again, don't say that it's a fuel hog and why would you buy it? It's because it's big horsepower, it's going to take fuel. Uh, where you make up for gallons per hour is gallons per acre, so more acres per hour less gallons per acre. I wasn't making fun it of just, it. It's impressive that something can actually, because I always go back to the old old days where I've seen my grandpa with five gallon pails or five gallon gas cans that they actually used to sell at the local uh, Midland store. And I try to imagine myself pouring these five gallon buckets of whatever <laughs> out and 43 gallons an hour that that would be uh that's a lot i do like the view of this thing like the tracks yeah, there right. this view it's pretty sweet hold this so i don't crash okay hang on guys so unfortunately i've switched fields somehow we gotta find the field i'm supposed to be on Okay, we found our line back, and we're sending it. I would say the cab is very quiet. I, I would like you, would you say that the shifting is a little bit more responsive, or it's definitely more responsive, like it's... Quicker, you mean you're getting up to speed faster? Yes. Yeah, I would say. Steering is a lot smoother. Cab, I mean, it's riding a lot better than R9RX but it is also nothing to compare. I mean, this is a totally different machine. So this thing is and literally so twice, with twice the size of ours. Yeah. Well, that's it's twice the machine. Wow. I'd like to know what it's like on our ground, because this is, I mean, this is Texas ground. I have nothing that to compare to it, so I have no idea, but the 13 miles an hour going six inches deep, and I keep working the same pass to see if I can get it deeper and deeper and deeper. Because that's how it works in Minnesota dirt. The more you work it, the softer it gets, the deeper it goes, the harder it pulls. And so far, it's still giving her at the same speed. How long would it take us to get home with this thing if we decided just to keep on? <laughs> I suppose they probably don't want their parking lot worked up. I love this view. That is just beefy. I suppose we gotta go park it away now. Oh no, no, no. You're going one more time. Oh yeah. Why is that? This is fun, I love this. <laughs> well, I'll guarantee you that. How many other opportunities like this do you get in life? I'm taking another lap. There's nothing up there that will make us stop. They couldn't make us stop <laughs> if you wanted to keep going. You got that? If you pushed it, there you go. We're locked, we're locked, we're going. 
See, if we keep doing this enough, they just stop following us, so now we can do whatever we want now. They have no say in the direction that we go, or in the speed at which we may travel. Oh, Somebody's watching the opposite right now. Why is that thing going so fast and working the same exact path over and over? It's a bunch of Minnesotans who don't know what they're doing. So Egg with Emma is also out here. Um, we were both invited down here. She did a video with this thing and that big air cart and air seater. I don't know the exact number of that, but go check her channel out, Egg with Emma, and you'll be able to see this tractor doing that. We got the opportunity to do tillage because that is what we would use this tractor for as an application, um, just due to we don't have or run air seeders in Minnesota. Somebody's or on our farm. Well, that's true. Somebody's calling me at the exact same time too. Maybe we've got a warning. Oh boy. Oh, it's an amber alert. That's not good. It's concerning. How's the ladder? The ladder is greatly improved and maybe perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you don't fall out? No. I think you guys have been watching our videos and just changing everything and making it better. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool. Well, that was a fun experience. And I'm glad that I glad that you guys invited us down to do this. This is fun. Yeah, glad and to have you. I'm glad to be a part of this new release. That's that's awesome. Yeah. So I think I should go help it turn around there. They're gonna hook the front end of the thing. Uh, you you want to do some testing, right? Like, I don't know about that thing. We've lost Duggo. He's he is, gone. He's, he's wandering. wandering. But that is going to be the last time you see the uh, 8.30 in this video. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having It's going to be a wrap. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. hope you learned something because I know I've learned a lot. Yeah. It was, it's, it's crazy. But anyways, day. thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And we'll see you in the next one.